This brief tutorial video will cover creating a vendor in Koha Acquisition Module. From the main Koha page, you will want to go to the Acquisition Module. From here, you can search existing vendors. However, if you would like to create a new vendor, there is a new vendor button here. Once you are in the Add a Vendor page, you have the opportunity to add details about the company that you want to add to your acquisition module. You also have the ability to add contact details. So if you have a specific salesperson that you talk to, their phone number, their email. Email is an important feature within Koha if you do want to notify this vendor about cereals, about late cereals, late orders, so that's very important. So let's go through. Um, so maybe they're at like Main Street. And then a phone number, website. If you wanted to link up to a website, you could do that. An account number, that's super helpful. Then your contact details. Um, And then if you did want this contact person to be the person that you wanted to contact about late orders or cereals, then you would go ahead and click any of these. You have the ability to add a secondary, third, as many contacts as you want. Then at the bottom, you have some ordering information. If you had a standing contract with this vendor that included um, when they sent you invoices, did their list prices include tax or don't include tax, if there is a tax rate, if there's a standing discount, you would be getting on every order. This information can be filled out from a basket to basket basis. So this is not necessarily something you need to do for every vendor if this is a value that could fluctuate or values that could fluctuate. Delivery time will tie into your laid orders. So if you order through this Bear Pond Books and you expect delivery time to be about 14 days, then Koha knows what to base that late order email to your vendor for, and that would be that delivery time. If you don't add that, then Koha would not know when something is going to be late. If you wanted to add any information about this um, vendor specific to ordering information, you could do, do that here. Once you've added that vendor in, now you can see that I have my um, the beginning of my vendor here, and I could easily go ahead and create a um, order with this vendor. Going back to that main page of acquisitions, once a vendor has been added, you can easily go ahead and search for a vendor. I'm gonna go back one more time, or you can see all your vendors from this page. You can see I have, oops, nope, let me go back one more page clear that and then search. And then you would be able to see all your vendors and I have four here. Okay, and that's how you create a vendor in Koha.